Uh, it's a review of Star Fucking Hipster's new album, Never Rest in Peace. Um, this album is set to come out the 20th of um, October, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to say right now, buy it. Here is my review. And whole oh, starts out with an intro, volume 2. It sets the mood right away. This is going to be a harder and heavier album than Until We're Dead. Right away. And also, the intro is not as cool as Itchinuxion a los hipsters, you know? That might just be because Volume 2 was not made by Introspect. In fact, I'm fairly certain that it's because Volume 2 was not made by Introspect. In any case, could have done better. Should have hit up Introspect, does it? You're lazy. Um, then it goes on to one of the best songs on the album, 3,000 Miles. Ah, I can't really say it's a classic Star Fuck Hamster song. After all, it's only been one album. But I will use that term somewhere in this review at least once. Classic Star Fuck Hamster song. But 3,000 Miles, um, it was the first song that they released. They put it on their MySpace way back. And, you know, it's one of my favorites. It's good. It gets soft at some points. It gets slow. And then it gets really fast. And... Um, just a really good song. Some other songs I really thought were good were Design. I really like the chorus. Design, design, design to destruct. Design, design, design to be locked. Catchy. And, um, despite what everyone says, Star Fucking Up Series in her first album was kind of catchy, so. I'm perfectly fine with that. And look who's talking now. I heard someone say it's a cover, but. If it is, please correct me. But that just um, follows volume two. It's very hard. I'll fuck the world tonight. Still good song. Church and Rape. I haven't got into that. Just, I skip over it. Civilization Show. Now, I haven't found anything to prove my point here. But this sounds like a uh, dick from... Uh, subhumans and citizen fish and it very well can be I mean it's uh, leftover crack which also a citizen in case you didn't know uh, did a split with citizen fish so they very well know citizen fish um, but I like that song a lot when we gonna grow up and accept responsibilities when we gonna grow up and accept it's a good ska song it's got some rock parts you know punk parts so that's another good song. Allergic to Peoples. Quick song. I consider it sort of an interlude. Whatever. It's hard. It's quick. Dreams Are Dead. That's an okay song. Nothing. Uh, same with Heavy with the Generics and Banned from the Land. They're all really good songs, but none of them are uh, amazing. As some of the other songs on this album are. They're just songs on this album that stick out, you know? They stick out, and they put the other ones to shame because of how amazing they are. One of those, and this is one I'm going to call classic, uh, Star Fucking Hipster Strong, one that went perfectly with Until We're Dead, Severance Pay. And you can already tell they wrote this song to play as the last song, maybe the encore song, at their shows. Um, it's time for us to go. I hope you like the show. <laughs> it's pretty clear. Um, but it's a... It would have went final until we're dead. It's perfectly in with all those songs, and it's up to level with them. Great song. Star fucking hipsters theme. Normally, I don't know why it's this weird thing that every time a band writes blah 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 theme, theme for their band, theme for the album, it's bad. This is not one of those cases because Star fucking hipsters theme, it's a good song. It's heavy, you know. I I should really stop saying this, but Never Rest in Peace is a heavier album than Until We're Dead. And Star Fucking Hamster's theme is a heavy song. And uh, I like it. It's one of those songs that kind of sticks out, but not as much. And the next song, the last song, the best song, Never Rest in Peace. I get fucking goosebumps when I hear them go on to the end part. You'll never rest in peace. I've sung way too much. No one's going to listen to this because they already tuned out when I started singing. But Never Rest in Peace. Ah. It's right now my favorite Star Fucking Hipsters song, and it may be my favorite Star Fucking Hipsters song through both albums. 
And I like Until We're Dead much better. But Never Rest in Peace is just amazing. So I'm going to give this album out of 10, 8.5. And that's kind of shake gag. I could go up a little more. I could go down a little more. Until We're Dead, keep in mind, I gave around 9.5 to 10. I love Until We're Dead. So this is not as good as Until We're Dead, but still go out and buy it. 8.5 out of 10. And that is Star Fucking Hipsters, Never Rest in Peace.